Welcome back to Easy Blue Fishing. It is a glorious morning this morning. I left uh, the marina about mm. half past seven this morning, headed out. We're doing a little bit of a trip today, so I'm planning to go out to from Bembridge off over to Shanklin. Then I'm going to go from Shanklin round the back to the banks by the needles and then come back in full circle round the Isle of Wight. It's basically an Isle of Wight tour today. Um, I've been out fishing maybe. Less than five minutes already. I made a one dog fish by chance to get everything set up. I just put one rod out just to get a rod out already straight away. One doggy, so we'll see what else comes in today. Um, baits wise, I'm using mackerel, I'm using squid. I've got some feathers out just in case something comes past on the shoulder mackerel, something comes past me. I'll get a few bits of live baits, maybe check a live bait out later on today. Um, I'll keep you posted on getting on, but at the moment, so far, it's a lovely calm day, the sun is shining. A few little wispy cows up there, nothing major going on today weather wise, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good day. As you can see, it is a lovely, lovely day out here today. There's the other white. Don't know over there in the distance, I don't know if you can see it. Spinnaker Tower, Portsmouth. So definitely a nice day to be out on the boat. Currently I'm fishing with a bluey mackerel rat bait on this rod. And this rod's got a whole squid hook through. Let's see what comes out. But so far, a few little fish up in the uh, fish finder. So there's only something around it. I've had a couple of schools brought swim past, which I think we just a school of doggies going past. Hence why I got the doggy earlier. But yeah, it's, uh, it's just nice to be out in the water. Well, while I've got a few minutes, waiting for another bite, I'll go and put the kettle on. I'll just take a moment just to talk about the fish finder. Now, I've got the low ranch hook reveal 7TS. And everyone sets rather up differently and has their own preferences and colour schemes and stuff like that. But what you've got in mind, so I've got a three way transducer. So I've got straight forward down, I've got either side of the boat, and I've got the combination. Now, if I just take the straight forward down scan, as you can see, big shot of fish went past just here. This here is my lead with feathers, and you can see it's just constantly ticking along the side. Another score at the top there. So these are the fishes, these are my bait lines, these are the school of fish coming through. Now the way these work is they pick up on the swim blood of the fish. And that's what the signal comes back and that's how the, the, the fish finder actually identifies fish runs through everything else. And as you can see from here, I'm currently sitting with my feathers sitting around 25 foot deep. And obviously all the markers on here show you, I mean, most of these markers are just my feathers flipping around in the, in the current. But above here, this here, just score a fish wing past right now, or well, it could be debris, but it indicates when there's a fish. So this one here is definitely a fish here, at the top end, at just under 10 foot. And occasionally you'll get fish on the bottom here, as I showed you earlier, when you saw the score go past. Also on the boat, I do have my autopilot, and my GPS plotter. Just have a nice, nice little bite on the uh, bluey wrap with squid. A couple of little nibbles on it, a couple of little knocks. And now I have a knock on the other rod, which is over here. So we'll uh, give it a second to uh, take and then we'll bring one of these in and see what's on the end of it. Got another school swimming past which I think are the doggies, it might be a shorter bass swimming through. Which, if it's a shorter bass, then I need to uh, change up my gear. So, we've got both rods going at the moment. I think it's going to be this one. Right, 
Might be looking on the fish finder. There's definitely a short of something coming past, and it's obviously not mackerel. So I want to switch up to a shaking shed now. It was my birthday last month, and the wife didn't know what to get me. So apart from getting me a pair of uh, lucky fish socks, she want me some little shads. So I'm gonna give these a go and see how these turn out. So I'm gonna rig one of these up, get it out there, and let it run on the on the drift. And we see what this takes. So you can see. Simple running lead, seven, maybe eight foot trace onto the shed. That's now down about 20 foot to the lead. And with the current flowing in that direction, it pulled the line out. Oh, we've got a heavy bite on the other. As I was saying, with the current pulling, it's pulling that little shad seven foot away from the lead. And the shad is now just gently swimming in the current, looking like a little fish emulating a live bait which I haven't got any live bait here today so it's just flapping around and we all should just find something coming in we've got a bite on this one here Nice little bite, but uh, it happens. Takes a bait, fills you up, spits it out, and you miss. Let's have a little nibble on the squid. I'm going to give it five more minutes here, and I might head out a bit further out in deep water. Try and uh, do the high tide drift. So we'll just give it a see how it goes. Be good all day, it's not a rush. Plenty of time to kill. Very finicky bite, so it could be something small. Yep, right, it's murdered. Would have done had a good go at it. But rather than back one up, I'm going to uh, relocate to another marker. Uh, rather than back one up, I'm going to relocate to another mark when this other rod comes in and uh, try somewhere else.
21 knots, 3,000 revs on the engine, should make good progress. Should be the next mark in. A little over 15 minutes. Right, so I'm just off of Monk's Bay, which is just over there. I'm counting on the drift. It's uh, 94 foot deep where I am at the moment. Uh, we're drifting at uh, 1.5, 1.6 knots, so not too fast in the flow. I've got one bait down, which is uh, squid. I've got it suspended just off the bottom, so as the boat's drifting along, it's not on the, on the deck dragging the line across. Um, there's some seagulls over the back, which could indicate there's some small bait fish around. Because when we see seagulls in a group like that, they're normally fishing. But I could be wrong. So I'm just going to see what we've got here. A few little fish out on the uh, fish finder. There's not many at the moment, so we'll give it another five, ten minutes, and then we'll move on to another location. Catch in a bit. So I'm now at my fourth mark for today. The other marks I've had very few bites, no fish caught, so I've kind of given up on those. So I've now moved over towards the needles, which will be actually in the background. So this is just over there in the distance. So I'm just trying this mark here now. I'm gonna give it an hour, see what comes if uh, nothing's biting, then I'll move around. Or one more mark I wanna try, just about 10 miles from the needles, south of the needles, I'm gonna give that a go. And if that brings up anything, then uh, I'll put the pictures up. Catch you in a bit. About an hour and a half ago, I was at one of my deep water marks on the drift, just for the tide turns on the slack water, so we were literally drifting, maybe one, one and a half knots max, um, to what the tide was coming in, so it was slack water. But I managed to get my gear snagged on the bottom, lost my tackle, lost my gear, lost my hook length, lost my leader. So I had to redo again. Had another go, and same thing happened again. So after losing two lots of gear, so I, that was enough of that, and I've now moved over to the needles. I've well, got a bike going on now. Never run out.
little doggy. She did a day for dog yesterday. So we'll throw this one little bag on back. So we can catch something else. Cut the shoulder swimming fly. So we'll see what comes out. Work going on here. So I'm catching this time. Today has not been my day for taking fish. It's still a nice day, we've picked up a little bit. It's got a nice view of the mini doors from here. It's still a glorious day. back as well. So I was saying, so basically, got a sliding lead, a uh, four foot trace, sand deal, moved on bait elastic to present itself with his head on the hook. That's what I put the last uh, dogfish on. I'll put this one out and see what catches again. So, something my day. I've literally travelled from my mooring, I've gone round the Isle of Wight, I've stopped at nine different marks overall, and the fish have won. Okay, I caught three dogfish and nothing else. Now, hoping today was going to be a better day and catch a few more fish, but that's sometimes how it goes. With all the baits and all the different rigs and the different techniques you use, sometimes it's just not your day. Better up next time. Thanks for watching. Um, catch you later.